Hi, Krista. I am a big supporter of AAC. I am a self advocate, tutor, ambassador, provider, and parent. I am working on myself every day to make myself better. I do believe that we need to use our communication devices to talk to our friends and everybody. I am happy about being here. I have a paid job 35 hours a week on the assistive technology team. I helped members and students with assistive technology. I loved it. Then came COVID. I presented at these conferences. I love it and they love me. I work with Kate Ahern Social Group. I work with Caroline Musloy Literacy Group and Rita Doiper Groups. I model AAC and we play games. I help teach a university AAC class. I use four apps to communicate. I have my iPad, phone, and an accent. Kristen, a modeler. I use four apps. I model for my students using those apps. I go to the gym. Oh, and I am also a single mom. He is turning 12 in May. He is playing football. I have experience with AAC. I still having bad time with my spelling and grammar because I was in life skills in ninth grade. Then finally put in resource classes in 10th grade. They taught me hygiene over and over and over again. That is supposed to be parent and home services job, not teachers. I needed only help in reading and writing. I had my device for five years before I was really interested in using it. Don't give up on the AAC user or the device. Sometimes it just takes longer to use them. If it isn't working, get more help. Hire me. <laughs> There is a problem with teachers and speech language pathologists that don't know how to use communication devices. Everybody needs to know how to model. I was the only AAC user at my school. I needed communication circles. And it might be helpful to have other AAC groups. Carolina and friends modeled more with me. It made me see that I can do it. Carolina and others helped me with making words and grammar fun. That was helpful with grammar and making sense. I was a model for others who use AAC. I was 15 years old. I helped start a modern about group. That made me become better and faster. Out and about. These are groups of AAC users, families, and their support people. 
we meet once a month each group. We do activities like tic-tac-toe and treasure hunts. Here's a free book that tell how you can do it. Play. A. Games. I play a games. They didn't want to be my friends with me. I think it was because of my disability and because I didn't use my device at school. I think that you should make sure your students use their devices. It is very important. They didn't learn my device. It matter if staff learn their device so they can model for them. Caroline and I wrote books for Tardio Reader. They are all free. You can get them for modeling with your students. Just search for Krista H. Don't take their devices away. It is like their voice away. I feel that I can do anything I want to do. I have different ways and different times, pending my anxiety and where I am at. Do you have questions? I can. Hear. You. I can't hear you. I'm sorry I was on mute. I did it. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. <clears throat> um, as you can probably tell, Krista uh, pre-programmed her presentation into her communication device. Um, but we want to invite questions uh, today uh, for anybody in the audience. Krista and I talked about some questions that we might uh, discuss as you all uh, begin to, uh, to think about what you want to talk with her about. But we also felt like it was important to have both the pre-programmed uh, presentation in the device and then also the chance to have open conversation uh, for our session today. Krista and I actually met for the first time in person at the Denver airport. And so we began our, uh, our informal communication that way. And it was, um, it was striking to me how, um, how easily we were able to slide into uh, talking with each other when I, when I was unfamiliar with her device. So thank you for that. You're very easy to talk to, Krista. And I'm watching the chat. So Vicki says, what made you finally decide to use your device? Mm. And how old were you?
I was fifteen. I wanted friends uh -huh. and I was one zero. Years, time, old, when I wanted to communicate. I was 15, I wanted friends, and I was 10 years old when I wanted to communicate. Vicki, any follow-up questions? You feel free to unmute yourself. Um, yeah, so I was just wondering, um, how did um, friends in um, the general ed setting or in whatever setting you were in um, accept your AAC device? I, I have a little guy that wants friends as well, but... Um, He's thinking that speech might be his choice and he's unintelligible. I, I was I was only AAC user and my classmate classmates didn't know about it. They mm. Played with it. I was mm. general educate education with resource work. I was only a AAC user and my classmates didn't know about it. They played with it. I was general education with resource work. Thank you. And so how, how did you um, transition your friends from playing with your device to understanding that it was your way to communicate? I told them to stop <laughs> and let me talk. I told them to stop and let me talk. Good. You advocated for yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Krista, I see in the chat, Alyssa says, do you have any suggestions for staff who want to give up because a student doesn't seem interested <laughs> in, in a, a, I'll bet you have a lot of suggestions. How long should we give a certain device before trying a different one? Don't give up on them. 
staff needs to use it to model let student students try different apps and devices don't give up on them. Staff needs to use it to model that. Students try different apps and devices. Can you talk a little bit about, um, you have the four different devices and apps that you like to use. Like how do you use which one? <laughs> or how do you, what's your primary communicating app? And then how do you bring in the other ones? Pending. How? I see. I use my device accent with my client and I model with her on touch chat pending how I feel I use my device accent with my client and I model with her on touch chat with my son, I use my iPhone with touch chat and my device with my son i use my iphone with touch chat and my device <clears throat> it is pending where I am A.T. Mom. At. It is pending where I am at. Alyssa, did you have any, any follow-up? No, just a just a thank you. I think that everybody that I work with wants to see it in action. And I think being able to have this video to share with them in the future will be really helpful because I mentioned in the chat that I have worked with a lot of teachers that are in middle school and high school and have given up on reading and writing. And so if you're saying 15 was when you started using your device and now you're using multiple AAC to communicate, that's just very um, helpful for me to share that it, we can do this and we, we can't give up on reading and writing and focus on hygiene and other functional skills mm. like community signs and, and just, just keep our students there. So thank you. Reddit is 
Awesome. Program. Redotopia is awesome. Program. Retopia. <laughs> okay, great. Um, and for those of you who are working with augmented, uh, with uh, younger children, we've got Retopia Go now, um, which has just came out. Just came out. We saw it at the ATIA conference, so that's very exciting. Uh, here's a question from Sarah Mansfield, Krista. Um, did you have an evaluation to decide which device was the best fit for you, um, and how many? AAC systems have you used over the years? Yes. I... Used. Five. Mm. Used five systems? Three. Device, devices with PRC, I, never switch, but Back up mm -hmm. touch chat and lamp. Yes, I use three devices with PRC. I never switch with back up touch chat and lamp. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, Calista wants to know: Do you have do you have a backup? And you've just addressed that a little bit. But also, do you have uh, low tech options, or what are your low tech options when a device might not be working as well as it could? Pick Pixie Paul. Pixie Paul is light tech. I use in the pixie pile is light tech I use in the pool. Oh, in the pool. Um, Krista, would it be okay if, if I described pixie pile to these folks a little bit just for the? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Um, so Pixie Pal was one of the sessions that I got to go to in the ATIA vendor demonstration hall. And Krista actually works for that company. She's been very uh, discreet about not making this into a sales pitch, but Pixie Pal is a is a new um, or newish uh, low tech device um, that. Uh, has two features. One is it's designed to print your high-tech boards um, from your communication device and, and you put it into um, this the Pixie Pal itself, which is pretty much a, a waterproof, um, indestructible, it looks like to me, um, as a uh, avenue for um, having all of your communication words, but without the high tech aspects of it. So um, 
Krista works for the company. She's been talking a lot about how that backup is is very um, important. And as she said, in the pool. I don't know if there's other things you want me to say about it, Krista, or if you even have a picture of it that you could share. Oh, or one sitting no. Yes. Not yet. No. It is. In my son no. room. Not now it is in my son room. <laughs> It's never where you want it. I see that Chandra has put um, a link to the Pixie Pal site, though, in the chat if you want to take a look at it. Um, it's, uh, oh, now yeah, we see it twice. Great. So you can, well, here, I can do this. Let me share my screen. And we'll just take a look at the picture. Your screen, there it is. Uh, <clears throat> this is, um, there it is. Uh, it, it's really a, a quite basic um, communication book, but it, I think the thing that I liked about it, and Krista, you can maybe say what you like about it because I know you use it at home a lot. It's um, it's designed to um, be easy to switch overlays to use any level of communication that you are using, and um, but also be that low tech thing. So um, basically, a communication book, but one that you don't. Have. I love the picture in the swimming pool. <laughs> And Christy, you said you actually use it in the pool? Yes. With my friend, friends, mm. my and my son. Yes, with my friends and my son. Great. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. For those of you who asked about low tech. And Chandra says, we have one in the OTAP library. How good is that? And Freya says, that's good to hear. We're hoping to try Pixie Pal with a student who is very rough on light tech. Does anyone know how it holds up to banging and slamming? So uh, <laughs> this says, hold on. Oh, my device acted up. Phooey. Okie doke. We're waiting for you. Anybody else have? comments or questions or uh, things that you want to contribute while we wait for Krista to get. We didn't say the technology prayer. Deb, Deb always does that. And uh, so that's what's going on here. I think Krista's coming back. 
It's a, Vicky says, sometimes devices have a mind of their own. And we're very familiar with that in not only the AAC devices, but Zoom. I'm scrolling through the questions um, that are in the chat. I think that we got um, most of them answered. Um, so I was wondering if I should tell you the story of meeting Krista in the Denver airport. Um, and seems like this would be a good time to do that while we wait for her to come back. Um, I had just a horrible travel experience going to uh, Florida this time. I tried to fly from Eugene and ended up, it took me 48 hours to get to, to uh, Orlando from Eugene because I kept, uh, there were issues with airplanes all along the way. So I was sitting in the Denver airport thinking, I am never going to get to Florida. And all of a sudden from across the room, I hear somebody saying, yeah, just like, you know, you've heard Krista um, get attention or, or respond to our questions. And I looked up and there was Krista waving at me. Um, so when you've asked some of your questions today, one of the things that really struck me was she went out of her way to get my attention because she uh, knew where, knew who I was and we'd talked a little bit ahead of time and had just an amazing array of strategies for communicating and and we had some good chats in the airport and and uh, now she's back because I was just telling him about meeting you in the airport. Sorry. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> I, I had I had to reset my device. That's no problem. We are all familiar with that and we've been chatting a little bit while you were gone about um, how those devices have a mind of their own. And so Deborah wants to know, was it a hard reset? Mm -hmm. No, just turn it off and turn it back on. I am going to get my device. <laughs> Good. It was not hard, hmm. but I needed a pin. It was not hard, but I needed a pin. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Um, Krista, I know that you are in, I, I have a question for you. I know that you're in uh, school right now to, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your college program? I am going. Hi. To try a speech language pathologist assist assistant and I am taking it. Slow. I am going to try to be a speech language pathologist assistant and I am taking it slow. So, uh, oh. Oh, go ahead. Hate. Mm. Anatomy. I hate anatomy. 
I, you're getting a lot of nods. <laughs> this is the right group of people to talk to about hating anatomy. <laughs> um, and I and I wanted to say you're also you have uh, your work for the company. You have your consulting work. You have you are a full time mom, and uh, and and. Uh, Client. Oh, client. Oh. Two. Mm -hmm. Five. Hours. Home. Place. And client for a 25 hours home place. Wow. You make it. Busy. Yes, you are busy. You're making me feel very old. I can't, I don't have that much energy. Um, but anyway, so I'm looking in the chat, or if you have um, additional questions for Krista, you can feel free to unmute yourself and ask her. Um, this has been just a wonderful conversation. Ask questions. <laughs> I'm not sure if if we heard and maybe I missed it and I apologize. Um, how tough is that pixie pal? How does it hold up to banging and slamming and dropping and that sort of thing? It holds up good. I <clears throat> I have another question, Krista. Um, how how do you um, work with parents who are resistant to AAC um, because they think it will make their child look different or um, you know, and I know you said you wanted to get friends by using your AAC so you could have conversations with them. And, and so anyway, how, how do you, how do you talk to parents about, about that? Share my story and tell their them. Yeah, I'm Don't. I'm going oh, excuse me. Give up on their child share my story and tell them don't give up on their child thank you and and i think i am definitely going to try to share your story with with a parent that i'm having um that problem with <laughs> i hope she'll i hope she'll watch it with me Thank you. Any more questions? Any more questions? Tell us about your son. He is. Eleven and
playing football and he is sweet. He is 11 and playing football and he is sweet. Does your son use AAC with you or anybody else in your family? No. He was baby. We tired. Tried to use it with him. He got it mm. now. He wait for me to talk. No, he was baby. We tried to use it with him. We got it. Now we wait for me to talk. Thank you. Well, thank you everybody for being here today. Um, I have enjoyed hearing Krista's story and also hearing your questions and the kinds of things that you're concerned about. Um, I know that uh, we want to uh, encourage you to uh, continue to think about um, AAC use with with your clients and you've got lots of kids in mind. Um, I think it's fair to say that Krista is um, available for consultation and um, we can um, send her some questions if we have more later. But we want to thank you all for being here today. I think um, that we will uh, go ahead and uh, end a little bit early in this session a little bit early so we can stop the recording. Can I do that? Um, and 